Welcome back to another tech tip. Today we're talking about the most hated file, not file type, but the file itself. What am I talking about? Of course it is thumbs.db. Everyone hates those files. They show up everywhere when you process, uh, when you publish data, they just pop up and people keep asking like, what is this? Why do we have that here? Why did you put that here? That should be removed. Uh, that file is not necessary. Please go ahead and delete all thumbs.db files and so on. Uh, but I always thought that there is more to that file. There could be something interesting to explore inside that file. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to look inside the thumbsdb file and see what it contains. But before we jump into that, let's talk about what it actually is, just so everyone is clear. So when you're using Windows, and Mac has their own version of this, so when you're using Windows and you go to a folder, and you see all the thumbnails show up, like a little previews of the files. They could be either photographs or even like Word documents and Excel files. You get a little previews of what the files are. Well, it takes a lot of computing power to generate those little previews. So what Windows does is it saves them into thumbsdb file and leaves them in that folder. So next time you go into the folder, those uh, little thumbnails don't need to be generated. They can just be loaded from that hidden file and bam, you see all the previews of all your documents, which is nice, you know. Um, love it or hate it, you know, for office documents, I don't like it, but for photographs, that's not bad, actually. So what I did is I downloaded a viewer for ThumbsDB file type, and I figured let's use it and let's poke around the file and let's see what's inside. So let's go to the screen and I'll show you what I got going on. All right. I found this ThumbsDB viewer from this website, thumbsviewer.github.io. You can get yourself a copy. And what I've been doing is I've been collecting thumbs.db files over the last few weeks because that's a thing to do. So, um, and I saved my viewer over here. So let me open it. And I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open all these thumbsdb files. So I'm going to click on Open and let me position some things around here. So what we see is that thumbdb files, so these are, these are the files here, and they contain uh, different entries in them. And if we click on one of the entries, we get a little picture. And this is the thumbnail, this is the icon that's actually saved um, in that folder, right, inside the thumbsdb. So in our case, we see this thumbsdb1 has only one picture but thumbsdb2 has multiple, right? So we can click on them and we can see. Um, I kind of poked around before, so I'm not gonna click on that, I'm gonna click on this one. So we can get an idea that this file, there was some kind of a file listing, uh, this one was some kind of form. There is not enough resolution to actually zoom in and see content of a um, document with text, like if it's an Excel or Word, you can't really read it but you can get some idea of what it is sometimes. Like you could see this is an email, right? And if a signature has nice big logo, for example, you can get an idea that this is from somebody at this company. So it's not enough information to determine what the document uh, actually is, the content of it, but from the looks of it, you can kind of figure out like, all right, this is a contract, this is an email, maybe an Excel and so on. And same way if we go to the bottom, we can see we have photographs here. So this is a photograph from Google Street View or Satellite View. And we can pretty okay make out that this is a building, right? So somebody took a screenshot or saved it. And this is people's cars, there's a parking lot, and this is building. So for photographs, there is enough resolution to make out general idea of what the picture is. So is it cool or not? Well, depends on your situation. So let's talk about how something like that could be practically used somewhere. So one way you can get uh, the thumbsdb file is part of a production. So let's say somebody took lots of edocs, load them to their processing environment. They did, for example, a search for privileged documents. They pull those out and anything that did not hit in privilege term got produced, including thumbs.db file. So now that you have these thumbs.db files, 
they still have thumbnails of documents that could have been in folders uh, with, with other documents and they were pulled out for privilege reason. So you could possibly get a thumbnail of a document that was withheld. Is it interesting? I don't know. Uh, but you can be aware of presence of a certain document. Now, the other thing that could be good here is photographs, right? So having this really small photograph is better than not having any photograph at all, right? Something like that could certainly uh, be clear enough to see people, people's faces, places maybe. Uh, so you can get, you can get a lot of information from this photograph. You can't like print it out and show it somewhere. Uh, but I guess the point I'm trying to make, there are two, two distinct points. One, you can prove existence of a certain document if you can make out enough information from it from a thumbnail. And two, you can actually use these photographs as pictures. You know, if there's somebody's face there, maybe standing next to another person, if there are two people here, well, this might be enough information to say that yes these two people were photographed together right how can it practically be used in litigation i'm not gonna go there because that's not my specialty all i'm saying is thumbs db have these previews uh, and they could be pulled out so if you got a production that contains thumbs db files and you want to go in and talk around them you could potentially find some interesting uh, interesting stuff in there all you have to do is be willing to actually poke around and put the time into it. Um, yeah, I guess maybe from a forensic investigation perspective too, if somebody's asking you to investigate and look for something, this is where you could go to as well. Uh, but with that in mind, I guess I can ask you, if you ever used thumbs.db files for anything, did you actually have like a case or proper use where you pulled content from that? I would be very much interested to hear so, okay, that's my tech tip for today. I will see you in the next video.